Hi everybody, welcome back. So we're gonna do shrimp remoulade tonight. This is one of the um, recipes that we learned when we were in New Orleans. And we will put the recipe and the directions on the website. So you, this one's going to be cut in, cut out because there's a little bit of um, time in between some of this stuff. So we're gonna be using a crab boil to season the shrimp. The shrimp tonight, we're actually using stuff that's already been deveined. Um, you, it's probably a little bit better if you use raw shrimp. It can still be frozen. Deveined is great. That way you don't have to do it yourself. Um, but having the shell on actually will pull some more flavor into it. So this isn't gonna take as much of the seasoning. You're gonna want to go ahead and use the amount of seasoning that's recommended on the bag. We're actually using a shrimp boil from Zatarans, um, which we got at the grocery store. So hopefully you can see all that. And you can go ahead and use that. And that's what's boiling here in this pan. We're gonna put the shrimp in there for a very short period of time. It does not take very long to cook the shrimp. Sean's going to do a demo on um, how to um, put together the remoulade sauce. And once the sauce is put together and the shrimp are cooked, then it's all going to be assembled on a bed of lettuce. So here we go. Sean's going to show you how to put this together. All right, while I'm making the remoulade, I'm going to put the shrimp in. Um, just so, And really, you're just getting them cooked through. So these are uncooked. And the way to tell if shrimp is cooked is you just want to look for them to kind of start floating. So. Once again, we season the water. Um, I think in the recipe they talk about slap your old mama as the seasoning to use. We were able to find Zatarain, so that's what we're using. Um, but you want to get this to kind of cook up. You want the shrimp to, to float to the top. But the, we love this recipe because it's super easy. Um, so the first thing that we're going to be using is horseradish mustard. I um, mean, we just found some horseradish mustard locally, and we're going to just throw some horseradish mustard into a blender um, or into one of these guys here, get the horseradish mustard in. That's awesome. Um, so, and the, well, like Danielle said, the recipe is going to be on the this site. So the next thing is, in the recipe they talk about tarragon vinegar. We're just going to be using some rice vinegar that we happen to have in the cabinet, so that works out great. Next is a little bit of ketchup. Part of the reason why I love this recipe is because I don't actually have to do any real cooking or have any knowledge. I just literally throw everything together and blend it. So that works really well for me. Um, then we're gonna throw in the ta two tablespoons of paprika. And then we've got our salt that it talks about. So get the salt in there. Stuck a little bit, there we go. Uh, we got our two cloves of garlic. Like we always talk about, we use the pre-chop so we do a little bit more. Um, just because it doesn't have as strong of a flavor, but and we like garlic, so that's good with us. So that's the garlic. Um, you're going to put in a cup of oil. You could drizzle this in, but I'm just going to pour it all right in because it'll emulsify as we um, hit the blender, so that works out just fine. So that's the oil. We're going to put a little cayenne pepper. We're only putting in half of what the recipe calls, just because Danielle doesn't really like spicy food. No, uh, I do not. So that's fine, and that's why we do it. And then you're going to put in a cup and a half of the green onion. Let me get that kind of thrown in here. And I'm going to be honest with you, this is not, like most of this stuff has not been perfectly measured out. I kind of estimated, I just made sure that I had the same amount of green onion as I do of celery. That was really the only thing I cared about, um, was making sure those were the same and then everything else, which was about a cup and a half, but I didn't measure it to make sure it's exactly that. Um, so I throw that in there and then it says to put in one to a half a lemon to a full lemon. We like the lemon flavor, so I'm just gonna squeeze in a full lemon. Lemon, we're using our trusty um, Pampered chef. chef, thank you. Pampered Chef lemon squeezer, because um, it keeps all the seeds out and it makes it really easy. So we're gonna pop the other one in. Um, and I think Danielle's ex explained this before, you put the, the cut side down and you just kinda let your, your arm muscles do all the work. No seeds go in, everything works out really nicely. We're gonna pop, so I'm gonna give the shrimp a quick stir, because once we put in frozen shrimp, the water cooled down some, which is fine. But we just wanna get the shrimp cooked. It's not that big of a deal, just get them basically cooked. So while that's still going, I'll pop the lid on here, and you just kinda let it run. It's gonna be a little loud to deal with it. Okay. 
Gonna take a break here, scrape the sides down. You can still see it looks a little chunky. It looks a little bit more um, gazpacho-esque at this point, so it's not ready yet. Um, you want to get it. You want it to be a nice, like smooth, creamy sauce. So I want to run it some more, but I just want to scrape off the sides. that's awesome to listen to on the recording but now you can see it's a lot more just pure liquid you'll see still some green flakes in there from the green onion that's what you want that's a good thing so this is ready to go that was the remoulade sauce it's really literally that simple take the ingredients stick them in a blender food processor hit the button let it run you're good to go and it's really simple um, we're waiting for the shrimp to kind of float to the top but once that's done what we do is shock them with a bowl of ice which I've got sitting on the side so this cooking stops let it cool down, take the shrimp, throw it into the remoulade, let it soak together. This is one of those things that you can actually let sit in the fridge for almost a day just to get all the seasoning together. Um, we're hungry, so we're not gonna wait that long, so we're gonna actually just mix it together and eat it right away. And we literally just throw it on top of a bed of lettuce here. And I will show some pictures of kind of what the remoulade looked like when we cooked it when we were originally in New Orleans. So the only thing I want to add to this is this is a vinegar and oil-based remoulade. It's not a cream-based remoulade. So it seems to be a lot lighter. So it does go well with the lettuce and you can have cool shrimp or you can have warm shrimp in the cool sauce. So you're going to pull everything together. Now, mind you, if you get shrimp that aren't already um, don't already have all the shelling done, you may have to deshell the shrimp before you actually put it in because you want to have everything on there except for the tail, you can deal with those. So make sure when you put everything together that you have the shrimp all clean and ready to go. And then um, you'll go ahead and you'll put the shrimp on the bed of lettuce and then you'll put the remoulade on top. It's a pretty easy recipe. It's pretty local um, and it's really refreshing. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and I will see you next time. So now the shrimp have been cooled down taken out of the water, they've gotten the flavor from the boil in them, and now what we're gonna do is just take our remoulade, I took the blade out of the mixer, we're gonna just literally pour it right over the shrimp. There's not much else you gotta do, you just pour it over the shrimp. I will spoon some of it out here, to make it all nice and delicious looking. So then you just, you literally just mix it up, make sure all the shrimp are coated. Like I said, this is one of those things that you could leave in the fridge for a while to soak up the flavor even more get a deeper level of flavor, all that kind of stuff. But ultimately what you're gonna do is just take a bowl of lettuce once it's ready. Make sure you get a couple shrimp in there and just spoon this over. And you got, uh, the sauce is delicious. You've got the shrimp, which are gonna have its own flavor plus the flavor of the sauce. Uh, it's just one of our favorite, like simple, easy, delicious little meals that doesn't take a whole lot of cooking. Um, you just gotta have a couple things on hand that you need to have. But once it's in there, you've got all this stuff inside. You make sure you throw it over the sauce, and you are done. That's it, folks. Cheers.